Hey, Frank here, and this is what we did last night. Last night was our very first ever youth night at Epic Coast Church, and I, it was super great. I sent probably over 85 emails um, of parents and students that I had on this kind of sort of outdated list, but um, that list ended up serving me very well because we had a great turnout last night. If you saw my Instagram, I'll, tag, I'll put my Instagram below. This is kind of the, the new order of what we did last night and kind of how it went last night and how it's probably going to go for a couple weeks until we finally get a new rhythm and groove and then in the new year when we start doing some big stuff then that's probably all going to change but this is what we did last night we started off around 6 30 p.m i called all the leaders to get together not all of them were able to make it because some of them had work and school or or different things but for the most part everyone got here at 6 30 and we spent that time kind of going over the order of the service and kind of telling them what their responsibilities were and then we spent some time in prayer um one of my goals is is to not to, to, to not just focus on that time on like administration stuff, but really spend it in some solid time of prayer. So as we kind of get the routine of the schedule, my hope is that we can spend majority of that time in prayer. Um, last night, like kids were already walking in, so we we're like fending off the kids and say, "Hey, let's focus on this time in prayer." So I prayed very quickly, but what I, my goal is, is that we can all kind of just spend some time praying for specific students, aspects of the night, things like that. And so it was really cool, and it was it was a good time of getting all the leaders together and um, praying with them. Then I showed a countdown video. Um, I went through the, the depths of my uh, external hard drive to find some old videos I haven't used in a long time. And one video I found, I, I believe it was from DOIM, it was called a turtle countdown. I'm gonna look to see if, if this was like a free item or if this was a, a thing you can purchase right now, but it was a turtle countdown. It was just really weird and goofy. It was like turtle facts and turtle trivia. And uh, and it was, a, it was like a four minute countdown. Countdown. So I love the countdowns that the, the, it counts down and like stuff is going on the screen and like making like short games and being really silly and dumb and, and DYM does a good job with those type of countdowns. So um, I'll try to find that and put it in the story if it's if it's in the if it's in the DYM store it's gonna be below. If not, it might be one of those things where like it just existed for once and then disappeared. But hopefully you can still find it right now in the story. It was a it's a good countdown. And of course we were playing the Youthman playlist off of Spotify. It's been a while since I've been able to plug that because it's been a while since I've youth group so we played the youthman playlist and um and that was going on before service and so you can always subscribe to that playlist and and use that to today next week in your youth group then i went up front and i kind of shared with them that i love youtube videos i love funny youtube videos and that one part of my values is to have a, a moment of just fun and, and that is going to be happening through uh videos funny videos and games and so i just wanted them to understand that like i just enjoy laughter and it's okay if it's not spiritual or, or to a point that we can just show funny videos and so I showed two funny videos last night and these were just like classic funny videos one of them was a blueberry video of the girl who like falls off the kitchen counter because this is really funny I'll put that link below and then the classic um, Scott Sterling getting repeatedly hit in the face with soccer balls classic video you can find all those below at videos for student ministry .com. and by the way if you're looking for funny videos or great videos to show in your youth group and you haven't subscribed to the videos for student ministry email um you can subscribe right now below or just if you haven't been there go to videos for student ministry it's a great resource for you oh, hundreds of videos of funny videos, spoken words, sermon jams, all kinds of stuff that you can use in your youth group. So check it out. It's all YouTube and Vimeo videos. It's great. So one way I, I found to be effective for me to learn faces and names is by doing this activity in the very beginning of the school year. So one thing I did is ask I put my phone number on the screen and asked every single student to give me their first and last name and their birthday. And that way I can kind of know names to faces, I can plug it in my phone, so it's a quick way to get their phone numbers into my phone, as well as um, kind of learn birthdays. And so um, the, the trick is the sixth and seventh graders who don't have cell phones yet, or the kids who like their cell phones are broken, is to get adult leaders or someone else to kind of take a photo with them so I can get at least their name and their birthday so I can kind of start memorizing that. But it, it was great. So my phone blew up, um, and in fact it almost died, it was great. Uh, we had all the students text me their selfies, and what's funny is you can tell the kids who really care about their selfie when they send me a selfie that they didn't just take. They like went through their photos to find a selfie. So it was good, it's a great quick way to kind of learn names and faces. Another fun way to do this that my friend Delmar Pete did is um, he got a Polaroid camera. It had everyone take a selfie with that Polaroid camera. And on the like little white strip in the bottom of the Polaroid, he asked them to write their name. And so that's also a really cool and fun way to 
you get all the information of students, like they're just names and faces. One thing we did last night specifically to get information from the kids to update their information in the system is I made this little card um, and it was a little info card for them to kind of fill out and get all their current stuff and then their social networks and things like that. That will be in the Youthman store, hopefully like now, if it's not in there already. Um, it'll be there today, uh, Thursday, whatever today's date is. So you can download that. I'm gonna probably put in there, obviously the Photoshop version, but I'll also put in maybe just like a JPEG with a blank black bar. So you can just drop in your logo on top. So that worked out well. It's a nice little nifty uh, quarter page that I can print four on a sheet and uh, people can fill it out. And, uh, and it gets a lot of information. So I'll put that in the Youthman store, but that's a, a couple of different ways how I was able to get some information from the kids to up their information in the system and also for me to learn more about them. We played three games. Uh, the first game was a, a big group game where everyone sat in a circle called Over the Mountain. Uh, basically someone is in the middle and everyone else has a seat in a circle and, and the person in the middle says Over the Mountain if you have braided hair. And so everyone who has braided hair in the circle has to get up and move. And so uh, they can be really as specific as possible to kind of pinpoint one person or they'd be as broad and like raise you know over the mountain if you are breathing and everyone has to get up and go really fun easy game everyone loved it from the sixth grade girl to the 12th grade boy everyone enjoyed that game and so that's a fun game also to kind of get to know each other and uh, learn interesting facts and stuff like that so check that out over the mountain then we played two games that I got from the Eastman store reverse charades and hmm and hmm Classic games, we've talked about them before. If you don't know, link below, check them out. I'm gonna be adding more games, tons of games over the next couple days, um, similar to reverse charades and hmm and hmm. So check those out in the Ethan Store, they're great. And then uh, my message was from Ephesians 2, uh, verses 1 through 10. And I kind of just shared my testimony, interweaving my story into that uh, passage. And it was just uh, a sermon that I always do whenever I visit new places or I'm, I'm meeting new people because it's the gospel. And it's also a way for them to get to know me because my story is very intricately woven throughout as the illustrations of that message. So it's a great time and the students loved it. So, anyways, if you have any questions, I'm excited to kind of get this going again where we talked about specifically what we did the night before. Um, I love my space because it's nothing but windows so I have great lighting constantly natural lighting coming in so I don't have to use any of my lights but I need to find my tripod because I think I lost it so I'm using crates to hold up my camera but anyways if you have any questions hit me up on all the social networks um, find me on everywhere you want any of my products go to frankgill.me and click on get to know me and then there's a thing called youth ministry resources if you click on that it'll have all my resources that you can check out that will take you straight to the youthman page to purchase them i will have a link here so you can just go straight to the to the resources of mine on my website so hey until then until next week god bless you see you later see ya